Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for cerebral palsy in Pakistan. So I'm going to go through how common CP is, the various causes, traditional treatments, then we'll delve into stem cell therapy, what the research shows, and we'll talk about the R3 Pakistan stem cell program. So how common is it? About 10,000 babies are born each year with CP in the U.S. alone. From what I could find, Pakistan does have a higher incidence of CP than the worldwide average, which is 2.5 per 1,000 births. The risks when you look at various studies include things like home birth, birth asphyxia, premature babies, low birth weight, and various intrauterine infections. Boys are diagnosed more often than girls with CP. It's the most commonly diagnosed childhood motor disability in the U.S. and probably the world. Over half of children with CP can actually walk independently. So the brain damage that leads to CP can happen before birth, during birth, within a month after birth, or during the first few years of a child's life while the brain is still developing. Most brain development occurs in the first few years of life. However, the brain does continue to develop until about the age of 25, so it's a long process. Congenital CP occurs before or during birth, and then acquired CP is that which occurs more than 28 days after birth. So there's four different types. Spastic CP encompasses 80% of those with CP. You see increased muscle tone there. Dyskinetic involves uh, uncontrollable movements. Ataxic involves uh, problems with balance and coordination. And then a lot of uh, children have mixed CP. So traditional treatments uh, include medicines for muscle spasms and seizures, such as baclofen, Botox, things like that. Uh, there's various surgeries that can release some of the contractures, which then hence can reduce spasticity and increase flexibility. There's also alternative CP therapies, such as energy and movement therapy, mind and body techniques, aqua therapy, and stem cell therapy, which is what we're going to talk about now. Um, so it's gotten more popular as more research studies have come out showing that there are significant benefits. Also, since we found out for the last 15 years that you don't need to do cross-matching or HLA typing for these therapies. We, we do know that cell counts are very important um, and procedures can either include stem cells from your own autologous tissue like bone marrow or fat or from allogeneic which is a donor umbilical or amniotic tissue. Umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells are the most common uh, from an allogeneic, you know, a donor source, and that's what we use at R3 Pakistan. What does the research show? Well, here's a study that actually was a meta-analysis, and that's a fancy term for just a pool pooling a bunch of studies together and seeing what they show. This was a review of five studies together, and they showed a statistically significant effect from umbilical cord stem cells on gross motor skills. And they had rare side effects. They did not use immunosuppression, so you didn't have to use any cross-matching or any of that. Um, and the results were fantastic. Here's another study. Um, I think it's out of China, where they looked at um, randomized 54 children to either receive stem cell therapy with umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells or uh, placebo, okay? Follow up for two years. So 54 divided by two, so 27 received the stem cell therapy, um, and they got four infusions, separate infusions, of 50 million stem cells each time. So a total of 200 million. And the results showed that umbilical cord blood stem cell infusions with basic rehab was safe and effective in improving gross motor skills and comprehensive functions. So once again, very safe, didn't have any significant side effects, um, and great results with a long follow-up, two years. Here's another study um, with eight children. So small study, more of a, a pilot study, where they used umbilical cord uh, stem cells in eight children with CP. None of the children had any uh, rejection reactions. All of them showed improvements in mobility and cognitive functions. Uh, 
Um, and six of them had improvements in muscle tone, hip movement, leg movement, rolling, balancing um, for the whole six months of follow-up. So small study, fantastic results. All right, so we saw really good results with the umbilical cord stem cells, um, and you saw that the main study included 200 million uh, stem cells. So we know that stem cell counts do matter. Now, the type of stem cells matter as well. We don't use embryonic stem cells or induced pluripotent stem cells. They have problems. They can lead to rejection. They can lead to tumors. So we've never used those because they're just not ready for prime time. Um, we use stem cell therapy with mesenchymal stem cells uh, from umbilical cord and hematopoietic stem cells from umbilical cord as well. That's the way to go. We've had fantastic results and very, very minimal side effects. And any side effects we do see are typically very, very temporary, 12, 24 hours. All right, let's talk about the R3 International Program in Pakistan 4 CP. Um, what we did is we combined all the essentials for a first-rate regenerative program. We have expert doctors, board certified by the American Board of Regenerative Medicine. Uh, you'll have a dedicated patient concierge representative. The biologics are very safe. They come from FDA-regulated labs in the U.S. with high-quality assurance, very high cell counts, very convenient location, just 20 minutes from the airport, and really we put together the most cost-effective program in the world. Biologics culturing is allowed when you're using stem cells in um, countries like Pakistan. Our U.S. lab is accredited, uh, pristine safety record, CGMP compliant, ISO 7 certified. We do keep the cells to the fifth generation or less. We want to make sure that they're very pure and potent. We don't use preservative. We have uh, over 95% viability. And depending on the extent of the CP involvement, we offer between 50 and 200 million cells um, for the treatment. Uh, we do provide transportation from the airport to the clinic and the hotel. Um, you'll have an escort. Uh, we, do, we also can help with travel logistics assistance. Um, our medical director for Pakistan is Dr. Mohsen Navid, um, longtime uh, practitioner. He is board certified, board certified by the American Board of Regenerative Medicine. And as you can see, um, not only is he a highly qualified uh, physician, he is involved um, with several universities, the Human Organ Transplant Authority, Drug Regulatory Authority. So high credibility and well known. Um, to get started, it's very simple. Just call us on the US prefix of plus one, 888-988-0515. There's a lot of information on our website, r3stemcell.com slash Pakistan. You can also email us at any time, info at r3stemcell.com. We look forward to hearing from you and really look forward to helping you. Thank you.